Hello students, welcome. In this presentation, you are going to learn the concept of ionic strength through solved problems. I am Adi Chavardhan from adichemistry.com, Varangal. So first of all, what is ionic strength? It is the measure of electrical intensity of a solution containing ions. It is represented by I. Mathematically, I is half of sum of products of concentrations and square of charges on ions. Here, I is ionic strength of solution, Ci is concentration of ion I, Zi is charge on the ion I. For example, if a solution contains three ions, A, B and C, the ionic strength can be expressed as I is equal to half of Ca Za square plus Cb Zb square plus Cc Zc square. Now let us understand the concept through solved problems. First one is, what is the ionic strength of 0 0.01 molal solution of NaCl? Now the solution is, we know NaCl dissociates as follows. Here it completely dissociates into Na plus and Cl minus ions. As uh, the concentration of NaCl is 0 0.01 molal, after dissociation, we will get uh, 0 0.01 molal Na plus and 0 0.01 molal Cl minus. Now, in order to calculate the ionic strength, we need this equation I is equal to half into C Na Z Na square plus C Cl Z Cl square where C Na is concentration of Na plus ions that is equal to 0 0.01 and for C Cl this is the concentration of chloride ions this is also equal to 0 0.01 molal and we know the charges on Na plus and Cl minus are equal to plus 1 and minus 1 so just plug in these values half into 0 0.01 into 1 square plus 0 0.01 into 1 square. See, here I am taking absolute values of the charges, not plus or minus. So it comes to 0 0.01. Now the second problem, what is the ionic strength of 0 0.01 molal solution of Na2SO4? We know Na2SO4 completely dissociates into 2 Na plus and SO4 2 minus ions. The concentration of Na plus ions in the solution is now equal to 2 into 0 0.01 molal and for sulphate it is just 0 0.01 molal only. Now plug in these values in the equation. Here the ZNA is as usual that is plus 1 but for ZSO4 this is a charge on sulphate ion this is minus 2. So just put 2 here. So the ionic strength of the solution is 0 0.030. Okay, now the third example. Here we are dealing with a solution containing 0 0.008 molar AlCl3 and 0 0.005 molar KCl. So we had to find out the ionic strength of this mixer solution. Options are also given. We had to choose the correct one. So let us start solving this problem. We know that AlCl3 and KCl dissociates completely in the solution. 1 molar AlCl3 gives 1 mole of Al3 plus and 3 moles of Cl minus ions. Hence, when we start with the 0 0.008 molar AlCl3, we will get 0 0.008 molar Al3 plus ions, but 3 into 0 0.008 molar Cl minus ions. In case of KCl, we get 1 mole of K plus and 1 mole of Cl minus ions. So, because of KCl, we have 0 0.005 molar K plus ions and 0 0.005 molar Cl minus ions. Now, the concentration of Al3 plus is 0 0.008 molar. For K plus, it is 0 0.005 molar. 
but look at CL minus the CL minus ions are contributed not only by ALCL3 but also by KCL so we have to take the sum of the concentrations so here 3 into 0 0.008 this is the contribution from ALCL3 plus 0 0.005 molar this is the co contribution from KCL so the result is uh, 0 0.029 molar for CL minus ions Let us plug in these values into the equation. I is equal to half into C A L Z A L square plus C K Z K square plus C C L Z C L square. We know the concentrations of A L 3 plus K plus and C L minus as well as the charges. For aluminium it is 3, for potassium it is plus 1 and for C L it is minus 1. Just use the absolute values only. So final value is 0 0.053 this is the ionic strength of mixed solution now the limitation of concept of ionic strength it is applicable only to the solutions containing strong electrolytes you cannot apply this concept to solutions containing weak electrolytes okay that's all this is the end of presentation visit adhikemistry.com for study material and online coaching in chemistry thanks for watching visit again don't forget to subscribe to this channel